Well, I understand that the president elect Ashwa Jubala met in was just arrived in uh, Nigeria. That's just about eight days to um, his inauguration, swearing in as the president of Nigeria. Well, uh, he, well it, it seems as if so many instructions are flying all around the place. So please just keep your ears open and please make sure you're watching uh, ONIF TV, watch um, Serious Matters, make sure you're clicking on our videos, make sure you're watching uh, because you need to be updated almost every, I mean, every, every second, every minute. Just keep watching because we're going to be updating you and so that's what we are seeing now see so many instructions flying around the place and we just need to be very careful especially those of us who stay around the fct and all of that well the national security agents uh advisor bigger pardon nsa retired major general babagana mongono has appealed to nigerians to use social media positively during the inauguration of Bola Tinovu on May 29. Well, that interests me so much because I wonder uh, why he is um, appealing to uh, Nigerians to use them, um, why they are around. I mean, um, uh, I don't know, wherever they are today, we still see whatever people put online. So, uh, but then it's still okay to say that let's be very, very positive in our use of the social media. But I wonder why it is coming at a time like this and also um, why they appeal, you know, are you trying to say that, okay, people should not say what they see anymore or, you know, what, is it a kind of way of, uh, you know, closing, covering people's mouth of saying don't talk, you know, because people will always talk, you know, social media will be a gag, you know, that day. Mongono made the appeal on Thursday in Abuja at a world press conference organized to mark commencement of activities for the 20 May 29th presidential election. This is the... This is one presidential election that is so different, so unique. I don't know, but there's just something so unique about this one. I mean, everything about it is just so unique. It's just so different. Because I don't just know. This is the first time I'm hearing such instructions now, you know, even though, yeah, the last time there was already social media, so I don't know. He assured Nigerians of adequate security during the presidential election, I mean, inauguration ceremony. That is very, very good, you know, coming from the NSA. Well, the NSA, you know, who heads uh, the Security Facilities and Intelligence Committee for of the presidential Transition Committee, PTC, said necessary measures have been put in place to play in place to provide all round security. Well, we already know that certain roads entering into Abuja are going to be blocked from you know a particular period, and so people who have to leave town or have to leave town will have to leave quickly. People who have to come in will have to come in very quickly. He said security will be beefed up at this Eagle Square venue of the May 29th presidential inauguration and its environment. Mangono also said there would be tight security in and around hotels to ensure safety of guests coming in to the Federal Capital Territory from within and outside Nigeria. According to him, membership of the committee, which is drawn from various security agencies, have been collaborating to ensure a seamless transition. It is perhaps the most critical of all the committees by virtue of the nature of of its own task. Well, that is why membership of the committee comprises of respective uh, heads of agencies at the highest level. The Chief of Defense Staff, the Inspector General of Police, the Director General of the SSS, the Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, the Co-Governor of Kogis, I mean, Kebi State, who sits in as representative of the incoming government, he said. Mongono further said, our main function and primary concern is provision of both overt and covert security or for cover for all the venues where the programs uh, will be taken or will take place, as well as hotels in which invited guests and dignitaries will be staying for the period up to the inauguration and immediately after. On restriction of movement, Mongano said, or Mongono said, there would be restriction of movement at a certain range around the Eagle Square. Uh, he also said there will be traffic diversion and provision of alternative routes for motorists and pedestrians. While assuring Nigerians of a peaceful inauguration transition, he urged them to steer clear of anything that would threaten the peace of the nation. While well, the committee that has concluded arrangement for accreditation and insurance of tax passes and identity documents for all security agents. If you have no business with security, you need not be near the vicinity of the program, especially on the inauguration day. Uh, we do not emphasize anything that will be negative on that day. So I urge everybody to become the people who use the social media. Please understand this till our visitors, especially those who come from other countries, Disperse. The subcommittees like transportation subcommittees, venue parade and swearing in subcommittee, media and publicity for subcommittee also assure, assured of adequate preparation. 
So the medical subcommittee said adequate arrangements had been made for over 100 medical doctors, nurses, and other medical personnel to be on ground within the period. And that's to tell us that there have been adequate preparation for this transition um, of um, government to another democratic, uh, democratically elected uh, uh, president. Uh, well, let's 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 we would give you update as they all pan out. Uh, well, you know, let's just obey, 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 obey the instructions, obey simple instructions. You know, like like we used to, uh, like we were told when we were in secondary school. For, for those of us who attended boarding house, you know, you hear things like obey before you complain. <laughs> <laughs> obey before you complain. And so obey before you give and you say anything. So first of all, obey. Let's be careful what we put online. If you are not sure about a particular post, please don't repost. Yes, if you are not sure. In fact, even outside, even before then or after then, if you are not sure about a post, I wonder how people just repost and repost and repost and repost. Why would you just be reposting what what is what does not make sense? So please, if you are not sure about something, please don't repost and also be very careful about the information you pass around so that you don't heat up uh, the polity. Well, this is still serious matters on non TV. Please do share videos so that drop a comment, make them simple and simple. Thank you very much. It is a very wonderful weekend and I hope you enjoy yours. God bless you. Bye-bye.